And here we are, it's 1.54 p.m. later the same day. And these are ready to come out, as you can see, our improvised drip pan really, really, really did the job for us. Let's get them out. And here we are, they are out of the oven. I'm going to let these rest for about 10 minutes before we move on to part two. All right, our ribs are rested and ready to unwrap now. But before I do that, I like to cut open one end of the pouch and then pour out all of the excess fat. Makes it much easier to handle. Let's see what they look like. And here we are. Yes, indeed. Look at all that succulent goodness. Now... If you just like your ribs with rub, you maybe put a little bit more on and put it back into the oven for another half hour at 350 degrees. And that is what our oven is preheating to right now. I like to get my spice from the rub and I like to get my sweet from the sauce. You'll see. Behold the underside of this rack of ribs. Oh my goodness, look at those rib bones just clinging on to dear life trying to hold on to that slab. They're not going to make it, but now it's time to sauce it up. And we are using a genuinely artificially flavored hickory smoked barbecue sauce because I can't get a smoker in here. I just can't do it. Be thorough like that yes indeed and apply it with a nice brush you can use one like this you can use silicone whatever just use a brush and we're going to get this sauce all over the underside of this thing then we're going to turn it over and there you are every bit of the rib side of this slab is coated in delicious barbecue sauce let's flip it over and right there is our thorough application of barbecue sauce. Use your brush and work that in, kids. And there it is, all sauced up and ready to go back into the oven. We're going to put this back in the oven at 350 degrees for 35 minutes or until such time that the excess sauce that you can see right there begins to just slightly burn. I don't want these crispy. I don't want them black. So about 35 minutes at 350, but watch it kids. And they are done. Look at them in the oven before I bring them out. Oh my goodness. Mercy me. These should be really good. Let's get them out of there. And this is your finished product. Again, no Doritos, no country crock. Just good, good, in the oven pork ribs. Going to let these sit for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to cut them into three bone sections. And will you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? I think that's in oven rib perfection, although, of course, I could be wrong. Yes, look at that. Isn't that pretty? It sure is. Absolutely. Look at that cross-section. Mmm, rib perfection with no grill and no smoker. It's really something else. And this is, of course, how the story ends. Moist, tender, delicious, and again, no Doritos, no country crock, Josh. Please, please try this recipe. Try it yourself. You'll love it. Sauce them up any way you want. Rub them up any way you want. Use them to make ribs and crowd. That's, that's very good, too. Anyway, that's it for Cooking with Rich Baritone on Negative 43 TV. And stay tuned. Later today, we're going to have fun with a Ninja Creamy. You won't want to miss that. And until the next time, I'll talk to you.